Hello there, I am Jeff Lars, and welcome back to Los Angeles, because it's clearly what we're playing. Last time we committed a horrible, horrible sin, and rose this bird from the dead, and today we're going to bomb this wall, because that's what you should do, bomb walls. No, it's just a fairy fountain. I guess we could use it. Very nice, very nice. Alrighty. So, when I said bomb this wall, I actually meant we're gonna get to the Eagle's Tower, because we're actually pretty close to that. Like, really, really close. As in... I mean, are there any bombable walls in here? This, looks, this place looks kind of suspicious, to be honest. Um... Let's see. Of course, pit. No. <laughs> Alright, well, enough of that. Wasting my fairy trip there. But here's Eagle's Tower. Simple as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, help if I actually equipped the item. There we go. Alright, and now the opening of Eagle's Tower. And by that, I just mean the rotation. Because, I mean, the ladder was back there the entire time. If Link had just figured that out and walked around the tower, things would have worked out much easier. But it's about time for us to say goodbye to our feathered friend. Because after this, we'll never see him again. He flies off into the wild blue sunset and... Shut up. Here we go. Level 7, Eagle's Tower. Here he goes, guys. Beginning of the end, sort of. I think we want to go right first. This is a, this is actually a, it's a pretty tough dungeon. It's it's no uh, no slouch. The last couple of dungeons are decently tough. So get ready for for fun times. So there we go. Yeah, the thing the thing about this one is it's actually got four floors. As you can see, there are four blocks. We'll get the map a little later, and you'll be able to see what each one looks like. But there are four floors, and the real gimmick here is you want to basically get this get this ball here this crazy ball and basically you're gonna there are a bunch of pillars to find and essentially the goal is you want to knock down the pillars I'm trying to get this in place where I can pick it up as I walk by this one this part can be kind of tricky all right go link go up oof close yeah, and here's one of those pillars so you just hit it with the ball and down everything goes Let's see. I don't really know what to do now, to be honest. Um, I think we might want to go down. No, I don't want to go downstairs. We want to hit that. And I don't know if we can... There's a good way to do it. Maybe boomerang? Yes, perfect. Oh, and there's the item already. The mirror shield. Um, You don't actually need this item for this dungeon. That's the funny thing about it. Actually, I don't think we want this quite yet. No, we don't. <laughs> um, yeah, the mirror shield's kind of a useless item in this dungeon. There's no there's no real use for it, aside from one point later on. And, well, when we get to that point, we'll, we'll get to that point, eventually. Uh, no, we don't want to go there. I think maybe do we want to throw that down that way for now? That would make sense. Anyways, chest pieces. Let's, let's throw them up, down, and all around. Oh, nice. Easy. Oh, and there's the map. <laughs> At last. We've been in this dungeon for, like, two minutes. So there are the, flo the floors. Um, when you knock down all the pillars, it actually, essentially, brings the fourth floor down to... Down to the first floor. So, I mean, not down to the first floor, down to the third floor. So, that's the trick there. Oh, that wasn't too tough to get to this pillar. And there are four pillars all, all in all, or overall, so... We're already halfway there, or as soon as I hit that pillar, it'll be halfway there. Now, I think I think this dungeon gets sort of an unfair reputation. A lot of people really, really don't like it, and that's mostly because, um, what is it? Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Yeah, that's great. Um, 
it gets the reputation mostly because it's uh, it's it's long and it's kind of confusing and it's very easy to sort of mess up. Oof, Gibdos, tough. I actually, take two hits with overpowered Link over here. Hmm. Let's see. Is there a good way to actually get out of here? Um. Oh, there's a crystal. You don't actually want that. Oh, there are these things. I think that you can use the mirror shield on these things. We'll find out. And Kirby. That's always good. Yeah, you can reflect the the beams, but it's kind of useless because they are really nothing. Yeah. It's not hard to actually dodge those nor- My god. This is this right here is why, why this dungeon has a bad reputation, really. Because if you mess up and find yourself downstairs or something like that, just by falling down a pit, then it's a pain to get back to where you were before. That's that's really all 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 there is to it. Well there's the ball. Alright. And I think we wanna go this way. So can we just yeah. No. Pfft, have to get hit to do that. That's great. Um you know, what the heck? Let's take the hit. <laughs> Oh, these guys, that'll be fun. Oh, wait, we want spades. We want to hit it when it's a diamond. There we go. Easy McPeasy. What do we get? Oh, the compass. That's really useful. I'm probably not going to get all the all the hidden items in this, or not all the hidden items, all the treasure chests in this dungeon, just because it's a pain to navigate, and I want to just move forward. Because... Forward moving is something I like to do. Let's see. Can we go down? Is there anything to do down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Now, how do we find our way into this room? That is the question. And what is the answer, you might ask? Well, I honestly don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe there's a... Oof, almost... <laughs> Bomba wall? No. Let's look at the map. Right there. Hmm. Maybe we do want to go downstairs. Maybe we do. Let's fall down this hole right here. That looks like a good spot to fall. It's a great spot to fall, in fact. In fact, it was so great that it wasn't, actually. Am I just... Wait, am I trapped? No, I can't be trapped. Ah, uh, of course not. There we go. Whew, I got nervous for a second there. Yeah, I think this is where we want to be. Well, that's where the next pillar is. Oh, hello. Um, mini boss. Really easy. <laughs> what was that, two slashes? It's the power of the level two swords, folk. Folks. Folk. Folk. Folklore. Oh, these guys again. Alright, so again, when it's diamond. Nope. Yeah, what the heck, I'll just mess that up. Alright, club, so we want to hit it when it's spade. There we go. What? Art. You know, I'm gonna just go back and forth here so I can hit two at once. So we want to hit it when it's club. No, Nerg. Man, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Alright, heart. So when it's spade. Nope. And this is gonna be the rest of the Let's Play, guys. Just me trying to do this. So when it's heart. Or diamond, actually. <laughs> Stop moving! There we go. And you're actually going to need that treasure chest eventually. So, now where do I go? That's the question. And the answer is six. Nope. Am I getting ahead of myself here? I might be. Oh boy. Floor tiles. Yep. Real simple. Well, this time you want to be careful not to fall in the holes at all, because <laughs> it'll send you downstairs and you'll have to go all the way back. 
and just to be extra safe. Take care of you. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's just put the power bracelet on. And... Three pillars down, one to go. Easy, easy, easy. So, that's going to be it for now. Uh, next time, we'll bring down the house for reals. And hopefully, almost get to the end of the dungeon. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.